In the last presentation, we completed the basic of mux tree and implemented the 4 cross 1 mux by using the 2 cross 1 mux. Now, in this presentation, we are going to implement the 8 cross 1 mux by using the 2 cross 1 mux. The method that which we will follow is the same as the previous lecture. So let's do it again. And uh, remember one thing, I'm not going to complete the implementation of 8 cross 1 marks using the 4 cross 1 marks in this particular presentation because it is kind of a special case in Max tree and it will be covered in a separate lecture, maybe the next lecture of course. So it is highly recommended to you to see that lecture because uh, you will stuck in it if you don't see how to implement um, 8 cross 1 marks by using a 4 cross 1 marks. So let me write it down. We are going to implement 8 cross 1 max using 4 cross 1 max in the next lecture. Okay. And uh, this thing is a special case. And also very important. It is very important. So let's move to the implementation of 8 cross 1 using 2 cross 1. The first thing that I explained to you in the last presentation is to see the number of input data lines of the required marks and the available marks. So if I say N1 is the input data lines of the required marks which is 8 cross 1. So it is equal to 8. And if I talk about the input data line of the available max, that is 2 cross 1 max, it is equal to 2. The next step is to divide 8 by 2 and it will be 4. Then again take 4 and divide it by 2, it is 2. Take 2 and divide it by 2, it is 1. Now stop. So what we are going to get by using this result is the total number of 2 cross 1 max required to implement 8 cross 1 max and it will be the summation of this results that is 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so total 7 2 cross 1 max is required to implement 1 8 cross 1 max and also it tells us about the sequence we will first implement the 4 2 cross 1 max then 2 2 cross 1 max and then 1 2 cross 1 max so I have already made the circuit so let me paste it it will look something like this okay and uh, you can see here that I have used 4 2 cross 1 marks first then 2 2 cross 1 marks and then the 1 2 cross 1 marks so fine now the important thing left is to determine the select lines I have not written the select lines here because uh, I will try to find out by using this table. So let's say if I want I0, I0 as the output, then uh, out of this I0 and I1, I have to select this thing. So I will write 0. And if I write 0 at this point, I have to write 0 or I have to give 0 to the select lines of this 4 to cross 1 marks. So at this point, I0 is selected. At this point, this i2 is selected and at this point i4 then i6 fine okay so out of i0 and i2 i need i0 so again i have to give 0 here so 0 here and i0 is selected and i4 and i6 is the input to this marks and 0 is the select line so i4 is selected again i need to give 0 to select i0 so y is equal to i0 in this way we will do the next case also i1 to have i1 I'm having one here all this will be one and again this two are zero so in so here I'm having i1 so one thing you can see that in this four marks the select line is acting as S0. Similarly, in this two marks, the select line is acting as S1 and in the last single marks, it is S2. So we will write it as S0, 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 S0. This is your S1, S1 and this is your 
as 2. So in this way the implementation of the 2 cross 1 marks is done to obtain the 8 cross 1 marks. So this is all that we have to do in this presentation. In the next presentation that is very important we are going to implement 8 cross 1 marks by using the 4 cross 1 marks. So see you in the next one.